footage, be advised that what you are about to see may be disturbing to some viewers. Our time on this earth, our home, may be at an end. Hi everybody, this is Chad the Gaming Dad here on Dad's Games once again. And you know, normally I try not to cuss too much on my channel because everybody seems to do that. And this is Dad's Games after all, right? But this game, this game here is too much. Today I'm reviewing Earth Defense Force 4.1, The Shadow of New Despair. But really, this should be called Holy sh the Game. Over and over you find yourself saying, Holy sh Look at those bugs! Holy sh Look at those robots! Holy shit! Flying monsters, robots, aliens! Holy sh This game, in case you haven't figured it out yet, is super fun. It does not try to be realistic. It is as far from that as possible. This is ridiculous in all the good ways. So, EDF or Earth Defense Force games have been around for quite a while, since 2003 actually. And this is really just a remake of the one released for the last gen consoles in 2013. Now that version was pretty cool, but it was a bit too demanding for those consoles and didn't run very well. So, on the PS4 here, the graphics, the textures, and frame rate, they have all been improved and almost run perfectly, but there are occasional moments of slowdown with so much stuff on screen. Holy shit! Let's show them how the big boys play this game! This is an old school throwback in every sense of the word. Hectors are coming out! Fire the Requiem gun! It didn't do shit, sir! That's Fall back! So you start off, you have to choose your class. You have four different classes. You have a ground troop. He is the ranger. There's an air attack in the form of the wing diver. And then there's more of a support guy. The air raider, he stays on the ground and calls in support from the air. And then there's this guy with the big guns. He moves slowly, but man, he packs a punch. It's the fencer. You also get to pilot tanks, helicopters, and giant mechs on the way. Each class has their own type of weapons and tactics that they use. And the way you level up and the way you find all of these weapons is that you play through the levels. Now this game has 89 levels, but in order to progress through some of them, they are pretty tough, even on normal settings. So you may need to go back and repeat and grind over and over again some of the previous levels for better weapon drops. You see, as you kill all the monsters and bugs and aliens and holy stop, as you kill everything, they drop health armor and weapon crates you pick these up and they don't do exactly what you'd think the weapons don't provide a weapon right there and the armor doesn't add to your weapon right there the health does help you out right away the armor and weapons are used after the battle you unlock weapons by finding these loot drops basically in the battlefield as you kill the enemy so you go back you play it again and again and again and again and you try to find better drops and you get better drops on harder difficulties Sounds like you're going to be like repeating stuff all the time, but honestly you don't mind so much because once again, holy shit! This game's just full of crazy enemies, crazy dialogue, super, super cheesy, great fun. This game is fun for fun's sake, nothing else. There's no artistic vision, no message, no technical demonstration of PS4 power. Just yeah, maximum fun and total insanity. The fact that this game doesn't have cutting edge graphics and everything, it doesn't matter. Once again, this is one of these games that you don't care what it looks like because you're having too much fun playing it. You're too busy with the action on screen to worry about the polygon count and how great the textures are. They're still pretty good. In fact, they're better than the older ones, but hey, gotta mention it because there are some people out there that, let's face it, they play games because they want to nitpick every last little bit. This game isn't for nitpicking. This game is for ass kicking. This old school throwback game even comes with, let's let's all say it together, something that is a dying breed, couch co-op. That's right, split screen co-op, where you and your friend, or you and your kids, or your wife, or whatever can sit there split screen and take on these enemies together and you're going to need to do that on the higher difficulties because that's what this game was made for people getting together having fun there's four player online mode which is even better 
But really where it's at for me is the local co-op when you and your buddy or your family can sit together on the couch and scream and yell, holy sh together. For the little kids, maybe they should just say, you know, something else. But when they get older, they're gonna be saying holy sh too. This game even has a split screen local versus mode. Haven't really tried that out too much, but hey, there's something else to do that's pretty sweet. That's where it's at. Everybody together playing, having an awesome time. Video games, yes. Now recently they just released a DLC pack. There are some guns and stuff that you can get, but there is a DLC mission pack, which adds more missions on top of the 89 that you already have. And these ones are even more challenging and even more fun. I'm telling you what, when you pop this game into your PS4 and you start playing it, the hours will melt away and the action on the screen may just melt your face off. I picked this up just basically because I wanted to try something different since it was only between $40 to $50 and looked pretty cool. And man, I'm glad I did. If you are like me and you like crazy guns, explosions, massive enemies coming at you in swarms and just all out in your face fun with no regard for realism and deep storytelling, go get this game now. You will love it. And for everybody else out there, listen. We will still be here to defend Earth from the invading extraterrestrials for you. EDF! So till next time, remember, you never outgrow video games. I am Chad the Gaming Dad, and this is Dad's Games. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. So long, everybody.